it was too bad that it was on our very first order that they made that mistake, but... Welcome to The Long Run with Joel and Christy. I'm Joel. And I'm Christy. And what are we doing today? Actually, a couple of days ago, we got our very first Misfits Market box uh, sent to us. And uh, I recorded an unboxing and review of what I thought of the produce when I opened it up. And uh, we're about to share that with you. But before we start that, we do want you to know that we have recorded an update to that and it will be at the very end of the video so that you can see what happened after I recorded that. Um, so we will actually have that at the end of the video. Be sure to stick around for that. Also, before we went into the unboxing, I did explain what uh, Misfits Market is. And so if you already know what it is and you don't need that information, then you can go to this. I'm going to put a timestamp right there. And that will be when I actually started unboxing the uh, produce. So um, let's get to it. Do it. If you're unfamiliar with this company, they basically rescue produce that might not be pretty enough to be sold in the grocery stores. So everything is organic and it's at a discounted price because otherwise it would be thrown away because the stores won't take it. You may not realize that uh, we have been on health journeys for a really long time, but we have also been on a uh, budgeting debt-free journey for uh, at, uh, at least eight years at this point. So um, it's important to us that we stick to a grocery budget. And so we normally just do the dirty dozen and the clean 15 list so that we can buy the most important ones organically. And the other ones we'll buy conventionally just to keep our grocery budget down. So I was really excited about getting the chance to try this. And I saw that Debbie from How Debbie Saves had a promotional code in her videos that I could use. And I think it saved me about $20. I can't remember the exact total, but it was something like that for the first box. So they're kind of like a subscription service, but not exactly. And the reason why I say kind of like one is because um they send you a box with stuff in it but it's not like one because if you don't put in your order the next week they don't automatically ship you out something uh so for instance we ordered this last week um you know we ordered it the week prior to getting it we just got this one they've already sent an email that says if you want a box next week it'll be it's time to fill it out but it says on there um, instructions that if you don't go on and say what you want, then they just won't mail you anything. Another note, I will have a promo code down in the description if you find what I show you interesting or something that you would like, um, then you know you can use that promo code. Another note is that when I saw it on Debbie's channel, um, she had she mentioned them having two different boxes that you could buy. They've done away with that. It appears, it appears that you just have to order $30 minimum of food. So, um, and you may go, wow, $30 of produce, but I will be doing a video that is going to be a price comparison between what I normally spend at Aldi or Walmart versus what I spent for Miss Fitz Market so that you can see whether or not the prices are actually better uh, at the local grocery store or if it's better with Misfits Market. And also one other video I'm gonna show you is I'm gonna do a video where I'm prepping all this food so that you can see um, uh, the best way to store your produce. Because if you spend $30 on produce, you do not wanna waste it. Uh, Misfits Market did send me emails with everything that I had ordered and it had also sent me emails with um, guides on how to prep your food um and it, you know i've been doing this for a while uh so i kind of already knew how to prep all my food but i looked at it because i wanted to see what they suggested it was very detailed and um and it had a lot of the same steps that i take normally so okay let's get into this box All right, 
So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to actually take my phone off the stand there that I'm recording with and I'm going to show you the top of this box so that you can see what it looks like on the inside. Okay, so we've got a little protective coating there. And then this is the ice pack right here. And, um, well, that made that cardboard a little soggy. All right, so um, I'm going to, y'all can see in there, I'm going to put it back on the stand. As you see, the ice pack has started melting. Now, I'm not going to hold that against them. The fact is that um, our first box was to be we ordered for the week of Memorial Day, and they put on it, be aware that because of Memorial Day, the boxes may take longer to get to you, and uh, it did. It, did, it took uh, about two days longer than what the, you know, like we had would be Memorial Day, and um, was the day that we were supposed to receive our delivery, and we actually got it on Wednesday. So I assume that things started melting because it's also Florida and things start melting. Okay, so um, this right here is blackberries. And if you look at that, it looks pretty good. I don't see any bad spots on it at all. So um, very nice. Oh, sorry. There you go. Okay, and... Um, now, if you've been following us for a while, you know that one thing that really, really frustrated me when we moved to Orlando was that I could not find kale that was, okay, I could find organic kale, but it always had yellow spots on it or it was really expensive. And if you're wondering why I get so excited about organic kale is that this is one of the things that's on the dirty dozen less green vegetables. Um, I, I love kale salads and could not eat them because I could only find them in conventional. All right, so we have cilantro and what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a cilantro lime chicken. We've done that many times. Um, and um, uh, we even have a video of it. And so when I saw that I could get the cilantro, uh, I planned a cilantro lime chicken because that's that's a way to do it is I already had chicken and I have cilantro so I got um, some Brussels sprouts um, so there's that and look at it it's really like fresh you can tell it's not um, it's, it's really pretty looking like same thing with the cilantro. They're good colors and there's no wilted spots on it. So, um, I got a zucchini. It's not the prettiest zucchini. If you can see, there's some um, little marks on it and stuff like that. Um, I'll probably have to cut off, you know, a little bit of that on the end. But I like zucchinis in my kale salad. And, and I actually got two. Look at that one. That's big old hoss. But you see, I have an avocado. Um, it looks like it's very ripe. So this will be going straight into the refrigerator. Uh, we ordered some limes for the cilantro lime chicken. See, it's just not the prettiest lime. But who cares about the outside? It's what's the inside that matters, right? A pineapple that... To be honest, not so sure it's ripe. Because it should be yellow, but it doesn't even, it doesn't even smell like a pineapple. So we'll see. I may leave it on the counter for a day or two and see if it goes ahead and ripens up a little bit. Um... We ordered some potatoes. Um, we got two little tiny watermelons. Because watermelons are a little expensive. Um, I don't know that I would order watermelons from them again. I mean, like, super small. 
but they were still $2.99. If you put those two together, that's like $6, and they're not very ripe either. So, yeah, don't know about that. So here's my other thing of kale. See, I got one red and one green. Again, that is looking pretty much like I want kale to look, a nice and green color. I ordered a couple of apples. Um, I prefer red delicious apples, but they didn't have that. More limes. We didn't really need six, but we will use them on different recipes and stuff, wherever we feel the need. Okay, I thought I ordered two uh, avocados. Yes, again, it is also dark. And um, if you pull the little thing there at the top, you can see whether or not it's ripe on the inside. Hmm. It should pop out. Oh, there we go. Okay, so it's a little green still. So it may not be quite as ripe as this one. Because as you can see, it already had the little knob pulled and it's brown. So, if it's brown, it's ripe on the inside, probably. Okay, so I thought I had a few more potatoes, but kind of thought two of them were supposed to be russet and a couple of them. And it, my, my phone has my email, so... Oh, yeah, those are red, for sure. These two are russet, so we're not going to get french fries out of that. So, that's something that we have to think about. Okay, and then I ordered carrots because I like carrots with my uh, kale salads. I eat kale salads with uh, zucchini, carrots, apples, and um, a little avocado, and uh, sweet potatoes. And uh, also I have one more little carrot. And like I said, you can tell they're not perfect. They'll never be able to sell these in the store like that because they're already broken. So that's what the problem is. Anyway, um, and then it's just the patty. Nothing else in there. So, my first impressions. Um, I love that it's organic. Um, but as I do this, I will learn which items not to get. Um, I don't think I'll ever get watermelons, again, because they are um, not very ripe. Um, as you can see, just one little yellow spot. So they haven't been in the dirt very long. Um, that may be why they could not be sold in the store, is because they were picked so fast that they didn't really get a chance to grow. Um, this one has no yellow spots, so, you know, it's it's probably not very ripe at all. Um, love the kale. <laughs> I'm not crazy about the pineapple. <laughs> um, I'm not real sure what we're going to be able to do with these russet potatoes because they're so tiny. Um, these red potatoes should be fine. I mean, that's... That's even bigger than I thought it was going to be. <laughs> uh, so we should be fine with that. I've got more limes than I need, but they only sold, sold them in six counts. Uh, the carrots are fine. Uh, I don't care if they're broken. Uh, the apples are okay. I don't really see anything that's wrong with them. That's what MV apples look like. I think it was it. Yeah, MV apples. Uh, so, you know, that's fine. The Brussels sprouts look great. The cilantro is perfect with no wilting, and so is the uh, kale. The blackberries look great. Um, you know, I don't have any problem with those. And then I understand why the zucchini looks like that. But like that, like, that even looks like it's bruised or something. I'm not sure that I'll get much use out of that one by the time I cut all the bad spots. But it is... Uh, it's not bad. I can work, especially work with this one, because um, all I have to do is slice off that little part. But that's a live and learn thing. Now I know what to expect. I know just how small 
these watermelons are and I won't order that again. But would I order blackberries in or these kale, this kale? Absolutely. And uh, I'm just going to be smarter and make sure that I order more potatoes or um, more kale. Okay, so here's a, just a little update about what happened after I recorded that video. Um, basically, I went to the order form because I was thinking $30 for all that stuff seemed like something was missing and what i thought i was missing was broccoli but when i looked at the order form what i realized i was missing was spinach mm -hmm. uh, we were supposed to get a five ounce container of baby spinach and it wasn't in the box as you saw so um we they have a little th section there that said you know any problems with your order contact us right here I did that. I sent an email and uh, within about 24 hours, I had a response from them apologizing and saying that they were going to credit our account back. They did credit our account back. And uh, so um, we actually spent less than uh, $30. Actually, we spent less than $17 probably about 15 because of the promo code that we used that we mentioned earlier. Uh, so we got all that food for about $15, but normally it would have been, you know, just slightly less than 30, I guess. Uh, but anyway, not bad. And we appreciated the customer service that they took care of it and, you know, apologized for the error. It was too bad that it was on our very first order that they made that mistake, but they still corrected it and we appreciated that. Yep. Uh, we still stick to what I mentioned earlier in the video that maybe watermelon and pineapple and stuff is not good purchases from them, that you might wanna stick to leaf leafy green vegetables. Uh, they all seem to come out really well to us. So um, that is just our opinion. And uh, we hope that you enjoyed our video today. Yeah, and if you want to see us do it again, uh, then let us know and drop us a comment down below and let us know uh, if you'd like to see us do another order. Yes, uh, we have ordered another box, so yep. we will have another one coming, and um, so be sure to check that out. Also, we will have a price comparison video, like I mentioned earlier in the video, that is going to be coming out in a couple of weeks where we're going to compare the prices between that and the local grocery store. And also, we're going to have a video where we show how we food prepped all of our items to make sure that we uh, didn't waste any food. All right, so there you have it. So don't forget to like. Subscribe and hit that notifications bell for updates from us. We post new videos on Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and sometimes on the weekend. Mm -hmm. And I think that's going to do it today for the long run with Joel and Christy. I'm Joel. And I'm Christy. And don't forget it's the long run. Give yourself a little grace. Bye.